Thank you for having me here. I'm here to talk tonight about the new fee ordinance. It's disheartening that I am standing here in front of City Council once again to discuss fees imposed on the amazing charity race. It's particularly disturbing given the fact that members of the majority council ran their campaign based on their desire to bring the amazing race back to Loveland and the good the events bring to the community. But I'm also proud to know that I live in a community that gives me the opportunity to stand before you and express how unintended consequences of this policy affects our mission. If this ordinance is kept, the chance of the amazing charity race being held in Loveland going forward is minuscule. A great amount of local charities, volunteers, and participants will be touched by the outcome of our decision. Our committee has done a comparison of our past fees for Loveland, Milford, and Miami Township. Last year, we paid $1,050 for Loveland City Services. That included police at a rate of $35 per, per officer per hour, city workers, an application fee, and facility, facility rentals such as Nisbet Park. We did not pay for fire because they have always elected to donate their time to the event. In exchange, on several occasions, we have made donations to the charity of their choice, including Cancer Free Kids, which is based in Loveland. Comparatively, we paid $877.50 to the City of Milford, $840 to Miami Township for police at a cost of $45 and $35 per officer per hour, respectively. We were not charged for an application, park rental, noise, public works, tents, or meetings. Fire and EMS departments of both communities also donated their time to the cause. Based on public records, the Loveland office did perform their own fee comparison with at least nine other communities. The survey yielded similar results that do not support the new fee structure. Per our calculation, the new ordinance, our 2017 fees for Loveland alone would be close to $6,600. That amount is a large portion of our 2016 total charity donations. To pay for the increased fees, a majority council member suggested raising our entry, entry fee or soliciting additional donations from businesses. Those options are not feasible. Our event is currently priced at the right point. Several years ago, we did a tiered, a tiered pricing structure where the lower entries, low, lower entries fees were, were early participants and higher later, and then the average at our current price point. The higher fees were not received well. In addition, as a local business owner myself, I know firsthand that the businesses cannot increase their sponsorship to these community events, as most are small businesses owners and contribute a good deal already. Our success is in a large part due to the members of this community. They are pa as passionate about this event, and I think it's important to note that the community is not just comprised of local amenities. It includes the businesses and the people who work and live here. Loveland has an incredible community spirit, and special events foster that spirit and have helped make Loveland what it is. We are blessed and proud to have contributed over half a million dollars to local charities. You're, you're, you're into his time. In 2016 alone, we donated to over 50 charities. I know I don't have to tell you that's a good thing for the community. Like us, these charities are almost all volunteer run. They are too small to be part of a larger giving campaign like the United Way and rely on what we raise each year to meet substantial funding gaps. To reduce the charitable donations by over $5,500 is not in line with our mission and purpose or that of the people in our community. Which charities would you turn away? Would it be a local Boy Scout troop? Or people with brain injuries? Loveland Youth Baseball? Loveland Elementary? Loveland Presbyterian Church, Loveland Stage Company, St. Columban, Loveland Initiative, or perhaps would it be a group that provides scholarship for children whose parents have passed away, or cancer-free kids, the Loveland Food Pantry. Can you make that call? Because we can. Most of our charities are based in Loveland. Many of our volunteers live in Loveland. Every member of our board lives in the Lover area, and we are raising our families in Loveland. Additionally, we received the change to the ordinance by the city, the city of Loveland that would allow city personnel to grant hardships to certain groups. We oppose this part of the amendment due to two reasons. First, it still does not address the ancillary additional fees that would increase the cost of police, fire, parks, tents, music, and other entities that would also cause, cause hardships. Secondly, it could give the appearance of favoritism or prejudice to certain groups that did or did not 
get the hardship reduction in fee. Unfortunately, because of the preparation necessary for us to organize the race and the processes and fees that this ordinance contains, we will have no choice but to again re relocate the race out of Loveland if this ordinance is not rescinded by your February 28th meeting. We again ask Doug, this, you're getting close. You're, you're at your 10 minutes. We again ask this, that you please reconsider the fee ordinance, not just for us or because of us, but of all the groups who enhance Loveland with their events and activities, and ultimately for the good of the community as whole. Thank you for the t your time. I appreciate the opportunity to explain our stance. Now it's up to you to see if what kind of type of community we're going to live in. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Okay, we, uh, we're going to. I know you're 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 full of uh, enthusiasm, but uh, this is a business meeting, and I would ask that uh, uh, enthusiastic outbursts such as that be. Uh, uh, withheld. Uh, is there uh, any uh, question or comment from any member of uh, council for uh, uh, Mr. Portman? Okay, seeing none. Uh